بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم وی آر آن آن لائن لیکچر نمبر الیون آف دا موبائل اپلیکیشن ڈیولپمنٹ کورس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ونس اگین ڈسکس اسپنرس اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈیولپ اے نیو ایپ کالڈ ڈائلر ایپ ان فیکٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو یوز امپلیسٹ انٹینٹ ٹو ایکٹیویٹ دا ڈائلر ایپ سو دس از دا آؤٹ لائن آف ٹو ڈیز لیکچر فسٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ریویو وٹ وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ سو فار بیکاز we are doing uh, we have been doing a lot of stuff uh, uh, we are doing a lot of designing part and coding part so it's better to review what we have done so far in the previous uh, two lectures and then uh, once again i'm going to uh, implement one of the uh, callback method callback method of the spinner object and then we are going to discuss dialer app and what are implicit intents so this is what the dialer app looks so we have simple one edit text when you type something on uh, here uh, when you uh, enter your mobile phone number and you when you press this send button so this dialer app will be activated and you will see dialer app on your mobile phone screen so uh, the implicit intents gives you um, uh, a very powerful uh, uh, like a, a very powerful way of uh, using the power of another app So with that, uh, let us first see what does the dialer app uh, looks like and what is the functionality of dialer app. Um, so this app is in fact uh, app for experimenting with the Android input type attribute for the edit text user interface element, uh, including an action key to dial a phone number. This app changes the input keyboard to a phone keyboard for entering a phone number and displays the entered phone number in a toast message. It also implements a listener for the action keys in the keyboard in order to send the implicit intent to another app to dial a phone number. So I know that things are looking very difficult and weird but we are going to break all these things uh, in um, sub modules and I'm going to discuss them in step by step manner. So we have already discussed spinners. Spinners is provide a quick way for selecting one value out of uh, out of many values. A touching spinner display a drop down list with all available values for which user can select one. So with that, uh, let me straight away go to what we were doing in the previous class. So we uh, okay. Let me revise our app. So this is what our app looks. Um, let me go back. Yeah, this is the front screen. So we can click on. any of uh, these option you ordered donut you ordered ice cream sandwich and then you ordered froyo and then if you click on this shopping cart uh, floating action button the another screen appears where you can enter a number so it's an order screen so if i like click on this edit text into your enter your name you will see that alpha uh, alphabetic keypad has appeared uh, but uh, if i click on this address same um, keypad or keyboard ap appears but if i click on this phone you will see that the keypad changes this is because of the input type of these edit text so changes the input type also trigger um, the corresponding uh, keypad or a keyboard uh, soft keyboard on your emulator or smartphone so this is what spinners looks like you can select one uh, option out of many options so let me select the mobile option so you see that mobile option is there but if i click on this note once again your keyboard has changed from um, numeric to alpha numeric and then uh, we can uh, select uh, the different delivery options uh, same day uh, messenger servers uh, service next day ground delivery and pickup so this is what our app looks like um, uh, we haven't uh, implemented this uh, spinner Uh, we have implemented the call met back method of the spinner app so let us uh, very quickly implement them so you see that in our uh, order activity we extended app compact activity which implemented adapt uh, adapter view dot on item selected listener and then we uh, uh, yeah, we have this on create method and then we get the reference of the spinner so we set the spinner if spinner is not equal to null then we set it to the set on item selected listener and we said that this will be spinner will be activated in this activity and then we create an adapter uh, and that adapter will get that data from the array source so that is why 
um, our resource is a label array and the layout of the spinner is simple spinner item layout and then we said that uh, how does this spinner will look like when a user click on the drop down uh, button so we said that adapter dot set drop down view resource android dot r dot layout dot so this is the design of how the spinner will look like when you i mean this is the simple drop down design and you will see that you can change it later on so once again if the spinner is not equal to not and null then we set uh, the adapter uh, it's a uh, set the spinner uh, to its adapter by calling set adapter method and passing on adapter as a parameter and then we implemented the radio buttons if we have three radio buttons the same day the next day and the pickup button and then at the end we have two callback method uh, one is on item selected and the other one is uh, is on nothing selected so if item is selected so what should we do so uh, we can say that um, if uh, yeah we can uh, declare a string uh, which will be spinner label and then we can say adapter view dot so here we do not have adapter view but we can like uh, we can say that it's a parent so parent dot get item at position so we are going to get that particular item in a spinner um, so what is the position and the position is represented by uh, the um, by the argument position so after that we can convert it into string dot to string okay so after that we can display uh, the particular selected spinner option by calling display toast uh, method spinner label so okay with that i am going to uh, apply changes and do you run my app and see if uh, it has worked or not um, and after that we are going to start a new project the dialer app project so yeah let's go back and let us once again click on this uh, shopping cart floating action button yeah home is selected but if you select work so you can see that uh, that particular uh, option is displayed using a toast message if you select other so other is also displayed so this is how like we use spinner we use different type of edit text and their option we use the radio button uh, and the radio group uh, i hope that uh, you have like got a lot of understanding of uh, the different concept discussed in this app uh, i think it is now time to uh, start creating our next app which is the uh, dialer app in fact this is uh, yeah we can say that this is a keyboard dialer phone app so i'm going to uh, create a new project so go to file new new project i'm going to select empty activity this is for phone and tablet and here we can specify the name of our app which will be keyboard dial phone i think the location is okay and everything else is also okay let me click finish and let us wait for the android studio to create this uh, project for us and after that we will start working on uh, the design of our app and then we are going to implement this app so still we have a lot of time and congratulation the Android Studio has success successfully created this app for you let me straight away go to uh, the values folder and I'm going to create 
a new value resource file and this will be a dimension file yeah click ok and here I am going to specify some dimension which we are going to use later on in our app so the first is activity underscore horizontal underscore margin which will be 16 dp and the second one is activity underscore vertical underscore margin and this will be also 16 dp so that's it um, I think we are also done with the string um, but I'm going to add one one string to this app and let me change this keyboard dial phone and make it more readable and I'm going to add an, another string with the name of enter phone and here I can type enter a phone number um, with that we can go to our layout file and I'm going to go to the split option uh, I'm going to um, you can like you can create any any of your like uh, design layout uh, I think we are happy with uh, this constraint layout uh, I'm just going to add edit text so let me go go and click this plain text and drop it over here yeah uh, looks fine let me expand it um, constrain it to the bottom to the left and to the right and uh, let me give it an ID of edit text main edit text underscore main uh, refactor yeah uh, let us also specify the width which is match parent mm, the height will be wrap content and the input type will be on because we are going to dial something and here are some other options so I'm going to delete this name option and the IME option will be action send and what will be the hint the hint is uh, go to the string file and enter form so yeah I think this is okay uh, we are done with this edit text and we are done with adding dimension um, okay let me also add the dimension and the padding so padding bottom add dimension activity vertical margin and then padding top once again it's activity vertical margin and then we have padding left and right which is the activity horizontal margin we have already specified these uh, dimension in our dimension file and then we have padding right also the activity horizontal margin so 
I think we are done with the design part. Now it is uh, time to go switch to the main activity and start uh, adding code to this app. So we have the main activity uh, which extend app compact activity and here I am going to declare a private static uh, final string. So it will be private is it means that we are going to use it only in this class and then what does the static mean static mean we can use it directly without um, uh, creating the object of this class and then uh, final mean it is constant so main activity dot class dot get simple name so this tag will provide the name of this main activity okay after that uh, it's time to uh, create the activity and sets the view then sets the listener to detect if the key was pressed in the edit text view um, so I'm going to go to the on create method and inside this on create method first we are going to get the reference of the edit text so edit text edit text assignment operator find view by id yeah you already know that it's edit text underscore main so we get the edit text and then we have to make sure that if edit text is not equal to if it is not equal to null this means that there is something inside the edit text so if view is found set the listener for edit text okay so we are going to say then edit text dot set on set on editor action listener yeah this one and here I we can further type new text view on editor actioner listener okay so with that you can see that uh, it has inserted uh, some code for us and uh, one method which is called a public boolean on editor action and it has uh, some uh, parameters like text view the action id and the uh, event so i'm going to uh, write here what does these means uh, because it will be very difficult for you to comprehend it so let me add multi-line comments and the parameter v in fact i am going to this is in fact the text view which means the view that was clicked so we click uh, the text uh, edit text and what is the action id it is the identity fire of that action and what is the event if triggered by the enter key event so if if we uh, like press uh, if we enter uh, press the enter key then uh, that that is the event so so this is the event so this represent uh, our uh, edit text this is the action which we specify in our uh, like you can see here yeah i am in action send this is that identifier 
and the key event is I mean if you press uh, some button so that this that will be an event so all right so we have now some options um, so I'm going to here I'm going to declare first I'm going to declare a boolean variable called handle and this will initially be false so if the action for the keyboard is defined as as what as ime underscore action underscore send then we are going to call the dial number method and return true okay and so now here we are going to specify if action id is equal to editor info dot ime underscore action send if this is the case then we are going to call a method called dial number and then handle will be true so this method hasn't been declared defined so that's why we are getting error okay so after that uh, we are going to create somewhere here I think I should create this method in our main activity and this will be yeah the dialer number method this is this is the important method uh, which is going to uh, activate the dialer app so in this method first we are going to get the edit text a reference once again so find view by id r dot id dot edit text main and then we are going to say string declare a string and uh, initially assign it to null and after that if the edit text field is not null then what what does that mean it means we can concatenate tell with a on number string so okay if edit text is not equal to null then phone number okay let, let let us wait for a minute yeah if every text is not equal to null I'm going to put them in, in one line then phone number will be concatenated with tell go 
colon and we are going to get the text from edit text get text and to string okay after that we are also going to log the concatenated font number for dialing so how do we do it by using log dot d normally d is for diagnosis we are going to first display tag which is the activity name and then dial number and concatenate it with phone number uh, import the log class okay after that we can specify the intent uh, and then so this is uh, implicit intent so we do not know exactly the name of the destination app or activity but we know that uh, the app which we are going to activate is a dialer app so that's why I'm going to here write action underscore dial and then we are going to say set the data for the intent as the phone number intent dot set data so we are going to get the data from the by using URI parse method and get the phone number data and then attach it to the intent but uh, for some reason uh, we know we may not be able to uh, activate the dialer app so for that I'm going to say this uh, intent dot resolve activity get package manager so if that package manager is not equal to null it means that we get something like we have uh, we activated some app so then we are going to say start activity intent else uh, we are going to once again use the log uh, implicit intents can't handle this ok so I think uh, we are done with uh, our app so let me see the time so we still have some time better to go and run our app and see uh, how does it uh, look on the emulator so gradle build it uh, is once again compiling all these files and uh, making sure that uh, all files are converted into the android package kit and then making sure they are installed on the emulator and they are executable so now the installation process has been started so there you can see a phone number so let me enter a dummy phone number and you can see the numeric keypad has also appeared if I click this button then you can see that the dialer app has uh, activated has been activated and you can directly dial this number from your phone so it's very important so once again let let me repeat what we have done in this main activity file we have uh, first we have make sure that edit x is not equal to null if it is not equal to null then edit x dot set on action action uh, set on editor action listener 
Um, so we have set it on the edit action and listener and we are hearing something from this uh, edit text. So if the action ID is editor.info IME action send, it means that we have pressed this button. It means that Yeah, so this was our app. It means that we have pressed this button, this send button. So that is why we call a dial method. So this is what uh, uh, the key for this uh, app is that we are going to look for the action ID. If it is equal to I am mean or action send, if it is this send button, this one. So then the dial, um, dial number method will be called. We are, will get the reference of the edit text initially we are going to set the phone number to null uh, so if edit x is still not equal to null then we are going to concatenate the tell with that uh, string and then we are going to log it uh, display it on the uh, log cat and then we use the uh, implicit intent um, the target was any dial app and um, then we parse the phone number we make sure that only the phone number is uh, parsed and um, then we also make sure that the dial app which we are calling is not equal to null and then we started the activity so once again let me click this button and you can see that that number has appeared and you can directly call this number so with that uh, I'm going to stop here I hope that uh, you have learned what we have discussed so far if you have some problem you can post it uh, on the Google group I'll see you in the next class. Take care and a laugh.